customers, they're like, you know, I've been on ECC for like 20 years and mm -hmm. we spent so much time doing all this ABAB configuration in here. We did all this and that and configured. Gosh, we don't want to give it up. It's our baby. It's our thing, you know? And yep. Everybody's like, you know, move over here and that's all going to go away. I don't think it's all going to go away. I mean, um, I think that right from the get-go, uh, when we started S4, we knew that a conversion is a very important point. Uh, that migration not necessarily needs to be a new implementation like in S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition. That is new. There are lots of new things technologically. It's new. So it's, it's really, you can't migrate that. But yeah. in an, in an, uh, private edition concept, uh, running on a, um, in a cloud environment, but still using the on-premise features that you have on the scope perspective, like industries, like languages, like like business processes behind it, yeah. uh, con conversion is definitely a thing. And uh, we listened to the customer and we developed a, I think, very elaborate process to get from A to B. And Boris and Frank can tell you more about this, technically how this works. Um, because I think that the market always differentiates between innovation by really redefining the process from scratch and innovating by taking adopting the technology first. Maybe yeah. Frank or Boris want to talk about this, um, how the conversion process actually works. Yeah, maybe spending some words on the technology, actually. Yeah. So I think what's, what's new in the book is important, the strategy and AI, you mentioned that, but for, uh, for what we have included there at for the brownfield or system conversion part is that we have the tools or the tool, the software update manager available that also allows in one step to move ECC on premise to SAP S4 HANA in the context of RISE with SAP to name one of those phrases. So SAP S4 HANA cloud private edition with one step and potentially even with downtime reduction technologies, that is new, that is covered in the book and that's an important step. Yeah? Hmm. Interesting. As an example. What do you think, Frank? Yeah, for, for the uh, Greenfield approach, we are still on the, the migration cockpit in the s cloud, which is currently the only tool that you can use for migrate data into the s cloud. And if I'm talking about cloud, I'm talking about the uh, public cloud uh, edition. Uh, for the on-premise on world, you then could uh, check for, for also for other tools uh, that you can use, for example. But for the uh, S4HANA uh, on-premise world on uh, private cloud, um, you then can uh, use also the, the migration cockpit, which is coming up with 200, uh, more than 200 uh, predefined data migration objects, you can then use the model your um, migration object, the LTMOM, um, the transaction to define own data migration objects, to modify existing data migration objects. And uh, at least you can also use the rapid data migration uh, solution by SAP, which is based on the SAP data services. And all those things are described uh, also in the book, how they can be used uh, within the different areas. 